Hi guys, this is the Build Wizard here down at Vapor93. I'm here to bring you a juice review on craft vapes. Stay tuned. I'm a wizard, wizard, a wizard, wizard, a wizard man. I'm a wizard, wizard, a wizard, wizard, a wizard man. I'll melt your brains. A wizard, wizard, wizard man am I. I was just actually telling the guys here that uh, this will be actually one of the first times I really sit down and break down the flavors and try to decipher what it tastes like and things like that. So it'll be really exciting. It'll be more more realistic for the viewers out there to actually see my reaction of what it tastes like. So I'm gonna be doing three flavors today. Creme Anglaise, uh, Angry Apple, and Icicle. So we'll be going through all three of those and I'll tell you what they say and the notes of what I get and everything. And yeah, so I'll be testing it on the CLT version three. Cool little RDA, uh, I might do a review on that later. So keep looking if you wanna see one on it. Um, Really cool build design CLT always has the uh, they combine different RDAs and I think it's a I think it's a really well put together RDA from what I've been doing uh, from what I've been using from it so <clears throat> I'll be doing it on the home box mod it's made by Hank O'Donnell it's a 3D printed box mod that runs dual 26650 uh, in series so it'll be really exciting what he recommends is that it's around a, in between a 0.3 and a 0.4 so I'm running it at a 0.4 and being a little safe because you can get a lot of voltage with those uh, 26650 batteries so yeah we'll go ahead right on here and we'll do creme anglaise first so what they say about creme anglaise is that it's a double vanilla custard combination of cream sugar and vanilla bean so sounds like a flavor that's right up my alley here so Go ahead and try this. All right. Oh, it smells, it smells custardy. Oh, I know I'm gonna like it. All right. That's interesting. Yeah, I can definitely, their, their sweetness comes out a lot. It's not like real heavy custards like you try where it makes you feel like you're getting like custard like force fed to you not a real heavy custard at all uh, very light I like it I uh, craft craft vapes they always have that very specific flavor to them you can tell when it's a craft vapes custard and not uh, like a super heavy vanilla getting custard shoved in your face kind of custard so I really like this one So the next one we're going to try is Angry Apple, and I must confess I do like Angry Orchard, you know, kind of will hand out my man card on that one, but a good cider is, is good. So Angry Apple <clears throat> is right here, and they say it is a blend of apple ginger with a cinnamon whiskey, and really my only focus is on that last word there, because uh, that is a great combination of things and stuff. So, we'll go ahead and try this one next. Ah, that's cinnamony. Ah, that's really cinnamony. Alright. <laughs> they got me. Oh, that cinnamon. Oddly enough, that tastes like... That tastes like a fireball whiskey but with apple hints to it. That is, you really hit that one spot on. It's a little late for Christmas, but uh, that's what it feels like is uh, Santa's having a party in my mouth. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's, that's really good. It got me on the first hit there, but uh, after that it started mellowing out and I got used to that cinnamon, but man, that's actually, it even, it leaves a whiskey aftertaste. That's funny. Wow. That kind of almost uh, bitterness to it that a lot of whiskeys have. I really, really like that. My batteries are dying, so we'll go ahead and come back to you when uh, I have some freshly charged 26650 batteries. <laughs> Yeah. 
there it is. All right. <laughs> right before the menthol. <laughs> it's, <God damn>. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna clear me out, dude. Oh. Damn. That's straight. Power! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, got some fresh MXJO batteries, uh, 26650 batteries, some of my favorite to run in there. Uh, I know they're available up at Gold Country Vapor up in Auburn, so stop by there and visit me and uh, go ahead and pick up some of those batteries. So the next uh, next juice we're gonna do is Icicle. So Icicle, the reason I'm smiling is I'm not a, uh, I'm not a huge menthol guy, but Mike over at Craft Vapes said that uh, even if you're not a huge fan of menthol, and because this has other notes to it, you'll really like it. So, Mike, I'm trusting you on this. There, what it says is a, a strong menthol with notes of French vanilla. So, hopefully, it'll uh, smooth out that menthol for me. All right. Oh, I just thought I just put freshly charged batteries on this strong menthol flavor. So. I ever had any hint of sickness before it's going to be completely eradicated out of there. All right. <laughs> All right. Wow. I could actually vape that. That is one of the strongest menthols I've ever had. Wow. I can see how they were talking about the vanilla too. Like the vanilla it's an aftertaste. Initially, it's like, I don't know, it's like having a, a blizzard. See, with these kind of reviews, I can't compare it by not saying it's something in my mouth, which is slightly, <laughs> it hurts, God. Not, not literally, but it's, <laughs> but it's a, yeah, I can't compare it any other way. So it's like having a blizzard in my mouth, so. <laughs> Just no shame anymore. Oh, it's out the window. Uh, yeah, very, very strong menthol on that first hit. And then on the exhale, you get that French, rich French vanilla taste to it. I definitely recommend you guys. I know sickness has been going around these days. You vape some icicle, and I can even feel it clearing up my sinuses right now. Uh, very, very impressed with uh, Craft Vape selection here that Mike has hooked up for us. When I first got onto a K Fun after I got off my uh, Ego C Twist with a Pro Tank, I went and had some of that Craft uh, Vape's pipe tobacco in a 12 that I ran in a K Fun for months. And that was my favorite flavor, really good tobaccos. Uh, but I'd always been a little worried trying any one of their other flavors that it's like, oh, it's, you know, I just like their tobacco or I just like, you know, I wouldn't like anything else. And until I actually sat down today and tried it, I'm gonna pick up a bottle on my way out of here of some of that uh, angry apple. But <clears throat> once I sat down and actually tried it, I realized how good it is and how much they've made leaps and bounds in the juice industry to make one of the best tobaccos, if not the best tobacco flavor on the market over to where they have a really good custard and then a good cinnamon flavor that doesn't really exist, a strong cinnamon flavor that's not like super sweet to going to a complete like Vicks vapor rub menthol flavor that just clears you out completely. It tastes better than Vicks because I've had Vicks. I, but yeah. Really, really good job, guys. Really good juice. I'm very happy with it, and uh, I'll definitely be coming down here to Vapor93 to pick some up. So yeah, guys, it's been a pleasure doing this video with you. Uh, this is the Build Wizard down here at Vapor93, and uh, stay magical. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching my review. Please like and subscribe and let's get this out as much as possible. Share with your friends, post this everywhere. Let's go ahead and uh, get a bunch of views. It'll be very, very appreciated. Please stay tuned next week to see our review on Ism Vapes line of juice. I'm looking very forward to uh, reviewing a couple of their flavors and trying them out. Bert over at Ism is a super cool dude. He does a lot of business with Gold Country Vapor and I've been, I'm very, very, very excited to do a review on that. So yeah, please stay tuned, like and subscribe. We love you all. Take care.